All right. Harvey in the building. My G, checking in, checking in with me. I really appreciate you, uh, you know, coming in on the Lockout Man podcast show, man. I, uh, you know, I thank you for, uh, you know, chopping it up with me, man. But before we uh, get into all of that, man, uh, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself. You know, let's uh, hear how you got started in trucking and what's the journey has been for you so far. I haven't been truck driving that long. Mm -hmm. I've been, I'm coming up on two years. Okay. Okay. Uh, in a, in March. Okay. Uh, I started out to uh, CRST. I went through the school. Uh, did my ten months, paid off my tuition, and then uh, I branched out. All right. And what what was your, what was your uh, <laughs> what was your experience with uh with CRST, bro? Uh, I went to the school out in Colorado, um, and then I just kind of ran everywhere for a while, and uh, they got me on a regular route. Mm -hmm. At about eight months, I think I did a couple of months uh, just going back and forth from Clackamas, Oregon to Abilene, Texas. Mm -hmm. And uh, after a couple of months, I switched over and started running uh, Midwest and back East uh, doubles on FedEx lanes. Oh, okay, this sounds like you, it, this sounds like they put you on some pretty good lanes, man. Yeah, yeah, it paid pretty good. I just was never getting on. That was the problem. Wait, this this is CRST, right? All right, all right. So back at it, my G. Uh, they they put you on some pretty good lanes, like yeah. Th and this is CRST. Yes, sir. So wow, you know, this is the first time that I actually talked to somebody. That actually said that CRST actually put me on some good lanes, bro. I mean, all the all yeah. all, all the CS CSRT C, CSRT conversations I have is like all bad experience. So what what do you so you 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 telling me you you did not have any bad experience with them since you've been there? Um, yeah, you know, I think it was just normal. Just normal things like, you know, sometimes, you know, you, you might run into a dispatcher or something like that with an attitude and and things of that sort. Um, but other than that, you know, my, my experience wasn't too bad. You know, uh, I wasn't really big on co-drivers. Right. But, but I, but I managed, you know, and, and some of the co-drivers I had was pretty cool, you know. So, so it wasn't too bad overall. So CRST forced it teaming or no? Yeah, yeah, you you had the team. Oh, you had oh, You okay. had the team. Okay. Even yeah. even with the even with these uh good routes that you guys that that you was getting to? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, always team. So always did they team. only time I saw huh? So did they link somebody up with you or you was able to choose who you wanted to team with? Uh, they basically, um, they gave me a list. Um, when I first started, I got a guy out of New York. He quit. And that was my one and first only time I ever solo was driving out of New York um, after he quit. But then they gave me a list of guys. And, you know, you just uh, make phone calls, talk to people, just kind of you know, see, try to get a vibe, kind of, kind of feel them out. Yeah. yeah. See what they about. And then I chose, you know. All right. So let's start, let's, let's start with the, let's start with the guy from, uh, from New York. Uh, how long he was on and why do you think he quit? Um, he had, he had left the company early before he finished out his tuition. And I don't know where he went, but wherever he went, he was not happy, and he came back, mm -hmm. and he finished out his 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 uh, he finished out his tuition and he got his ten months. All right, so wait, 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 wait. He quit on you, 
went to wherever he didn't didn't feel right and then came back and got with somebody else to finish out. No, no, no. He he quit and came back and then I that's when I met him. He was my first co driver. Oh, okay. Oh, like he he was coming back when I met him. All right, so you say this is your first co driver. So how how long was you guys on the truck and why did he why did he leave off the truck? I think I think we were there like five minutes or five months. Mm -hmm. He had a bad experience. He said uh, he got shorted on a check. So now let me he, uh, now let me ask you this. Uh, I I ain't mean to cut you off, but let me ask you this. I I was told for teaming and being that you guys was new, I was told that teaming is seventeen cent a mile. Is that still true? Yeah, I don't I don't think so. I think somebody's got got confused. All right. So what um, you so between you and you and your co driver, what what you what you guys were splitting? I was making he was making more money than me because he had they counted his time back that he was al when he was already with the company. Mm -hmm. Um I was making about forty cent a mile when I started. Oh e even with the teaming by yourself? Yeah, 40 cent a mile when I started. I wasn't by myself for too long. I really just, uh, let me see, I, what, I probably no, was by myself. For, no, uh, no, no, That you still garnered 40 cent a mile even while you was teaming. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's, hey, that's, that sounds, uh. That's, that sounds pretty good. Then if that was, if, if that's the case... You did your 10 and out. Why? If you was getting the good runs and you was and you was getting 40 cent a mile. It was 40 cent a mile when I started. Right. And then um, it went up a penny a month. Oh, so okay. 10 months. End of the 10 months, I was at 50 cent. Um, from there, it's, I was kind of looking at it. I actually, I like, I was happy with the route. I liked the dispatch. We got along. But I felt like, you know, I've been here I'm, and I finished my tuition, so it's time to look for more money. Right. And I actually stayed with the company, and that FedEx lane was paying. Mm -hmm. They had, I mean, for me anyways, to be to not even be at a year, they started me out at 68. Oh, so. okay, okay. All right, so my G, you 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 got at me in a in a comments in one of my videos, and I I, I do appreciate the comments. Uh, and I, I appreciate the support, bro. You you felt that uh, where you was at, you you felt that the company put an abandonment on you, or you you feel that you got an abandonment, and you just and and you rating on your DAC report to come back to see if they see if they put that on you. What exactly happened in that situation? for you to feel that they gave you an abandonment? Um, well, basically they didn't hear from me at the end of my, um, at the end of my home time. I came home. I was on my home time. I came home. And when I came home, you know, I checked the truck regularly, like almost every day, except for, I think maybe one time. Mm -hmm. And, um, then, you know, Towards the end, uh, I had basically been getting a ride with my brother, getting him up, getting it up, getting up there to check on the truck because I parked it at a truck station okay. or a truck stop. I mean, and uh, well, basically, um, my brother just had a kid, right? And sh she was having, she was premature. She was in the hospital for a while, and then she, they got her out. Um, she was in the hospital so long because they were. They had her on a machine to help her breathe, right. but then she started breathing on her own, so they cleared her to, to come out. This this is your um, this your brother's kid, your niece, right? Right. Okay. And uh, towards the end of uh, my own time, mm -hmm. um, she started having breathing issues again, so he ended up, you know, having to take her to the hospital, and they had to put her back on the machine. Right. And basically, he was up there for days, and I didn't. Like he was using, we were sharing ride, the ride. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't have a way to drive. And then on top of it, 
uh, I hadn't gotten paid. Like I was out for five weeks and I hadn't gotten a check. That was my first time out. So I had no money on me. Okay. Okay. Hold, and, hold, hold, hold up right there. Hold, hold up. So before you went on home time, you, you did, you did some loads, but you was never paid for those loads. Right. I hadn't gotten paid. Um, it was a different setup. You know about trip packs? Yeah, yeah. You you put the information in the in the trip pack and then drop it in a little box at the at the truck stops. Yeah. Yeah. It was uh we was using trip packs. I had just moved in with my brother and changed my address. And okay. for some reason, they had sent my first couple of checks to my old address. Oh, okay. So, so, the, to, so these, so the company that you that you driving for, they 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 don't do direct deposit. No, they couldn't at the time because I didn't have, I didn't even have a bank account. I had been gone so long, I hadn't had time to even open up a bank account. Were were so, they able? Were they able to? Well, I'm 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 assuming you got a fuel card for your for your fuel, right? Yeah, I had a fuel card. I would get, uh, I would get. Um, advances right but they yeah. what is it the type of fuel like for example u.s express has a fuel card at, well at that time when i was there it was uh you it was u.s bank or whatever the case but they was able to load your check onto the fuel card the company you with is not able to do that no they weren't able to do that the most i could get was two hundred dollars Okay, um, that's for an advance. Okay. Yeah, for an advance. All right. So and, so you were getting paid, you was getting your paychecks, but it was going to the old address. So is it fair to say that that is just it's 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 in the wind right now until the 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 um the uh you you know US Postal Service able to send it to the right address? Or usually I they send it back to sender. Yeah, that's what they did. I got checked with the post office and they said they said they didn't have it. And if they said if they didn't have it, then they send it back. Right. 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 That's that's what they normally do. So Yeah. So now they they send it back to sender. So what so what is the company saying? Why why they not why they not able to send it to the to the right address that you give them? Well, when I did the trip packs, mm -hmm. they told me just put my address, the new address, on the trip pack. Okay. So I put the new address on the trip pack. Okay. And I put it inside the trip pack on right. the paperwork. Right. Um, but then later, I got a message an e uh, email from the office mm -hmm. of the company and it, and the lady, I guess the, the handling it, she says I need to write a letter in the email. So I had to write a letter with my new address on it. On oh. top of that, even though at first they told me just put it on the trip pack. Okay. Okay. So it ended up uh, being sl coming in slow. On the email? So my money didn't, sh yeah, like, no, the, the checks came slow. Oh, because, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because they they told me first. They said just do the trip packs, and then they came back days later and told me, "Oh, you got to email us right. with your new address." Okay, so so ha have you gotten any checks from them since? Yeah, I got the checks, but the thing is, this this happened a while ago. Like this happened in September. Oh, okay, geez. and. And I just applied for a job, and that's how I found out because the job disqualified my application. And they said you got an abandonment on your record. What? Yeah. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So the new company that you that that you applied for, they pull your DAC report, and then on your DAC report, that's when they said that you had an abandonment. On they did they give you a chance to explain like you're doing right now? No. No, they just said it was really. I didn't even talk to the recruiter. She just sent me a text. Wow! And she and she said I disqualified your application. 
because it came back. You came back with an abandonment. All right. So, but basically, you you wasn't able to because of your situation and and your brother's you know family issues. You wasn't able to get up to the truck. So, what was it? Because was there any other like options to get to the? Could you Uber? Could you? Get no, you? I couldn't do nothing because my phone. I didn't since my money didn't come. You know, my money didn't come, but my bill came, <laughs> okay. and my phone got shut off. Oh, okay. my phone got shut off, and and I had no way to call. There's nobody around. It was just me. You know. So I had no phone, I didn't have no money, nothing, you know, and it was like, uh, I didn't know what else, what I could do, you know, it was too far away to just walk, you know, so I was kind of stuck. So when, how how long did it take you to at least get your phone turned back on? Um, well, the first thing I did uh, when my brother finally got home, uh, I took his vehicle and I went and checked on the truck. That was the first thing. Okay, yeah. And that, yeah. that's when I realized that they had sent somebody out because the truck was open and it was running. And okay. the guy, whoever had it, I saw the paperwork in there. That's how I knew, you know, it was somebody from the company. Mm-hmm. Um, but he wasn't in the truck. I waited for a minute, but I had to get the car back because my brother still needed the car because he had to go see his kid. His kid was still in the hospital. Right. Um, so I waited for a minute, nothing. And I left. First thing I did, I started, you know, working on getting the, get my phone on. It, it didn't take my card right away. Cause I just opened up my bank account. Mm-hmm. So I ended up having to wait and go to a store when the store opened. Cause that was late night. Mm-hmm. And I went to the store when the store opened and, uh, that was in the morning and I got a AT&T card, you know, and I, went ahead and paid my bill. And the first thing I did was I texted him and I said, Hey man, you know, I got stranded. Right. You know, I had an emergency situation. I got stranded. And right. uh, I apologize and stuff like that. Okay. You, and you told him all, you, you told him all that. You told him the situation. You, you explained that, you know, everything had a domino effect. I mean, you know, of course you got your money late, which was because they were sending, they was sending it to the wrong place. Then, you right. know, your your family, you know, your brother's emergency with his kid, you know, and right. then the fact that you wasn't able to get up to the truck. So with all this time that's passing, how long all this time that passed? Was was it like a week, a couple of weeks or what? What what we mm. looking at as far as time passing? I would say it was about I want to say like eight or nine days. Eight or nine and days. I had like, yeah. So we looking at Probably less. Eight days. We we looking at less than two weeks. Right. And and they. And and they. Okay. Well, you know what? I can see this from both sides of the fence. So, one side of one side of the fence, I can see that they wasn't able to get in contact with you for eight days. So. Right. It would be, uh, it it would be a matter of you know looking at it from a company standpoint that being that we wasn't able to get in contact with you, yeah, we we see that you abandoned the truck because we wasn't right. able. To, but when you did get in contact with them and let them know that you know let them know all of the situation, was you able to? Was you able to get the job back? Was you able to get back on? What's what's no, what's the hold I, up? What's the hold know, up with them? What's the hold up with them not giving your job back because of the because of the unfortunate situation that you went through? You know, I I was looking at it and I was like, when I texted him and I said, hey, you know, told him what happened. Said I had a situation. Took me a while to get get things right, and he he basically said. Uh, he said, uh, you could have called me. It's like he didn't understand what I was saying. When I, I said my phone was off, but it was like he just, I don't know if it didn't register or what, but he said, you could have called me. And then late, he sent another text and he was saying, he said, it's all good. Don't worry about it. He said, he said, 
we, we got a guy out to pick up the truck, which I already knew about, mm-hmm. you know? And I, so I just assumed that they didn't really want no more dealings with me, but things were okay. Things were cool. Uh, and now, so, and now you, you know, you felt out the, you know, you, you felt out for another trucking company and come to find out that it's an abandonment on, on, on your, on your DAC report. I'm I'm surprised right. they was able to snap. I you usually your DAC report don't they they usually don't send it for like maybe like thirty days. But goddamn, that was quick. <laughs> um, I mean there is uh you know there there's there's unfortunate circumstances always. You know what I'm saying? And you know right. I, you know from you know. Me being, you know, me being for the driver, me being for you, I, I could just see, you know, your unfortunate circumstances, and all, and I feel you. You all you had to do is just explain to the to to the perspective person, like, look, man, this happened, that happened. I did not, you know, abandon their truck. There, I didn't mean to abandon the truck. You know, the situation that happened with my family, with my with my phone, with my money, and all like that. It was just one thing after another. So it wasn't like right. I I abandoned the truck. It just made it it just made it look like it because they wasn't able to get in contact with me. But the reason is I I I had to wait for my money that they that they you know, lack thereof. And then when I finally got it, I was able to, you know, I was able to do something. Right. So, you know, with that said, man, um, you can go to higher, right. Um, higher, right.com. Um, and maybe you could put a dispute on it, you know, get a chance to, Get your version of the story in there. Uh, next time you you know you you call or you put in a uh, you know you put in for another trucking company. Now I know that major trucking companies, Swift, uh, U.S. Express, and the rest of them, they going to you know look at the DAC report. You know they, but right. you got some companies. You got some companies, some smaller companies that don't, you know, they 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 don't even, you know, bother to look at the DAC report because they know that these companies out here would just put any and everything on there. But if you do come across a company that, you know, just say, oh, OK, well, we checked your DAC report and we see here that you have a you know, you have an abandonment. Also, with that said. Uh, when you like use like apps like 10th Street, usually uh, that's what some of these trucking companies use. 10th Street, when right. you fill out an application, you know, they so in that application process, you'll be able to get a copy of what they get. So you'll get a copy of your PSP, you'll get a copy of your DAC report, you'll get a copy of your MVR, you'll get a copy of what they see. So Okay. If if you you know filled out the company through, uh, through the through um, the internet or whatever, just tell them, hey, um, is it possible that you could send me a copy of, of the DAC report? You know, and they should okay. they should be able to, uh, send it to you. You know, it's like a credit card. Like when you fill out a credit card and they say no. Then down at the bottom, it'll be like, well, if you want a copy of your credit report, you know, say yes or whatever. It's it's just like that. Basically, a DAC report is supposed to be the truck driver's credit report. But, you know, with so many companies out here that's trying to do, you know, just trying to throw drivers under the bus, you know, it's crazy, man. Um, yeah. Bro, definitely, you know, your story is intriguing. I, I appreciate that you shared it with me, man. Um, it sounds as though that the company you was with was, 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 what, what kind of company was it? Was it a foreign company? Was it a owner op? What's, what, what kind of company was it? I mean, if you, do, if you want yeah. to say the name, you can say the name, but if you don't, that's cool too. 
I, I don't want to say the name, but it was a foreign company out of Chicago. You know, so. <laughs> Black Ops. <laughs> the Black Ops will do it to you, man. That's... That's crazy. I mean, I mean, it's a it's a pen it's it's a pendulum sword with the black ops, man. Some of them, some of them is good. Like if you get if if you get the DAT report, it's all crazy. Some black ops company will overlook that, and then you got other black ops companies that want to throw you up under the bus. That's 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 not cool, man. Um. So right now, um, what you got? What what you got set? For you know the what, what you got set, what you got coming up. You got any more? You got any more prospects coming up? What 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 are what are you doing right now? Um. Well, I just got I just got a uh, uh, text about a local job. Uh, okay. Actually, with Snyder. Okay. Okay. And 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 they said, don't worry about the uh, abandonment. There you go. So, yeah, I'll be. Uh, <laughs> there you go. I'll be applying for them pretty quick here. All right, all right. Well, brother man, uh, Henry man, thank you very much for 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 sharing your story, man. Hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully this uh, story will resonate with someone else, and hopefully they will, you know, they would, you know, use it as a learning experience. Definitely, um, definitely, always, you know, get your DAC report. Any time that you leave any company, you feel me? Uh, you know, yes, just 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 to see what kind of buffoonery that they that they would put on there, if if anything, you know. Um, couldn't you know? You know, much success. You know, with Snyder. You know, hopefully, uh, hopefully, when you get with them, you know, you you you'll be able to rock out with them. Um, just make sure you, you know, put some time in and and definitely if you get with another company or something like that, if it's not Snyder, this like I said, this is explain, this is explain the situation. Um, you know what I'm saying? This is explain the situation and and hopefully uh they they will be able to see it and then you'll be able to, you know, rock out from there, man. Yeah. So you are a citizen, my bro. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? You come on if you have anything, you know, have anything else that you want to share. Like, you know, when you get in with Snyder, you know, let us know how Snyder treating you and everything, man. Um, you got my number. Anytime you you have any questions or anything like that, man, just let me know. And uh and we'll get it in, all right? All right, man. All right, man. I appreciate the call, bro. Thank you. Thank you. All right.